Buenos dias, señoritas y señoritos. In our previous blog and reporting about the concern raised by uh, Senate Minority Leader Coco Pimentel about uh, Malacanang or President Marcos giving 2.5 billion to the Commission on Election without uh, passing through Congress or without Congress uh, 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 budgeting a fund of uh, that amount and giving it to the uh, Commission on Election, uh, we have a uh, follow-up on that issue. Kasi yung issue po niyan ay uh, tulad ng tanong natin noon, uh, is Marcos buying the loyalty or the uh, uh, support of the Commission on Election for the for his 2025 senatorial candidate or 2028 presidential candidate. So, and also, tanong rin natin sa last vlog natin, uh, bayat utang ba ito for helping him win in the 2022 presidential elections kung saan marami ng katiwalian lumalabas doon? Kasama na yun na uh, claim ginawa ni Mr. Glenn Chong na na kalaban ng Smartmatic. In fact, uh, kinakalaban niya una si, uh, si Lenny Robredo. Kiniklaim niya uh, nanalo si Marcos. Yun pala. All the while, he was working with the Marcoses pala. Pero ngayon, uh, na, na ine-expose na niya yung mga katiwalian sa mga Marcoses, uh, we are giving him the benefit of the doubt. Because uh, kahit pa paano, insider po siya eh. Andon po siya loo, sa loob mismo ng Malacanya na ng ng campaign team ni ni Lisa Araneta Marcos and uh, that's why we are playing his uh, video uh, where uh, 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 it was uh, uh, posted in the Facebook page of uh, former DICT head Eliseo Rio and we thank uh, Eliseo Rio for this video uh, thank you po for may, uh, for allowing us to use this galing sa press ko nyo anyway nasa public domain na siya ngayon at uh, may uh, pay right, uh, right uh, uh, pri uh, principle naman tayo to use it and syempre I, I know Mr. Rio won't mind so dito sa sa uh, press ko na ito inulit ni, uh, ni Glenn Chong yung nireport na natin noon na he claimed kinuha siya ni, uh, ni uh, uh, Lisa Araneta to help uh, Marcos to help uh, them in the 2022 elections. Uh, also again, after uh, kinuha naman siya to help sana yung electoral protest kay BP Lenny Robredo. And then uh, sinabi niya na una nag-set up sila sana ng, ng machinery or ng, ng mga sistema para to, to fight the cheating ng Smartmatic and yet nung uh, after spending millions, hundreds of millions for the computers, mga mga techie, mga computer guys and then nung nakipag-meeting na si si First Lady Lisa kay uh, kay uh, sa head ng Smartmatic, parang kinalimutan na yung sistema nila at hindi parang sinabotahe, hindi gumana. Kasi baka yung sistema mismo ma-discover na may dayaan. So, uh, per at uh, after meeting the executives of the Smartmatic, parang inichapwera na si uh, si Glenn Chong and this in this video, uh, we will also debunk or we will also uh, din, uh, uh, answer yung mga allegations na nag-iingay ngayon si Glenn Chong dahil hindi siya nabigyan ng posisyon. Dito sinasabi niya inoferan pa siya ng posisyon ni First Lady na Commissioner ng Comelec and then Comelec, uh, Comelec Chief. Ha? <laughs> Yung posisyon ngayon ni George Garcia. So lumalabas dito na parang pinaglalaruan lang nila yung Comelec. Parang, parang kanila silang may-ari ng Comelec. At uh, dito sinabi rin ni Glenn Chong, ang ginawa, kinuha siya dahil kalaban mortal niya ang, ang Smartmatic. And then binenta siya sa Smartmatic. 
na nung nung nag-usap na sila kasi Smartmatic at sinabi ni parang uh, ang uh, as he was insinuating itong si Glenn Chong parang siya ang kapalit na hindi na siya pumiyok laban sa Smartmatic uh, at at uh, ang Smartmatic naman tutulungan manalo si si uh, Bongbong Marcos although ang tanong natin Uh, si Glenn Chong lang kaya ang kapalit or or si Jeng Glenn Chong lang kaya ang binenta nila si uh, ano pa kaya ang binenta nila <laughs> or binili nila <laughs> ha oh, kayo na ba bahal ang magsagot yan si Jeng Glenn Chong lang ba ang uh, victory lang ba ang kapalit or meron pang iba na siyempre alam naman natin bottomless ang mga Marcoses when it comes to that So pakinggan na natin si Glenn Chong. Uh, dito nakabase yung uh, previous report natin on uh, the press con kung saan lumantad na si Glenn Chong to to point at uh, First Lady Lisa as the one na uh, 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 nag-ayos behind the scene yung victory ni uh, ni Bongbong Marcos with the help of Smartmatic and this was done through bar through several meetings. held between uh, Smartmatic at uh, at uh, uh, si Lalisa Araneta at kung saan inichapuera na si Glenn Chong that's why he was forced to leave the group the campaign team uh, even before the uh, even before the election period or the election day um, Uh, but can I do for you? Sabi po, I just need sana security. So, sabi ko, sige. Ba? So, for how, how long? Sabi ko, six months. Kahit six months. Well, yan, sige. dito binibigran yeah, niya background yung paano siya tinulungan ni 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 First Lady. Dalawa lang ang pinigay ko sa kanya. And I was very grateful. Then, uh, sometime, uh, nung nag-file na si uh, Uh, nag-file na si Bongo Marcos sa kanyang certificate of candidacy. Pinatawag uli ako ni Lisa. Although, we meet regularly. Or sometimes pinatawag ako. So, over last, nag-uusap kami sa kanya. Pwede ba uh, pumunta ka naman sa headquarters kahit twice a week lang? Sabi ko sa kanya, I have no problem with that. Even if we daily, I will leave them. Sabi ko, sige, twice a week simula ako. And uh, towards the end of the campaign, I will leave them. Sabi niya, how much will I have to pay you? Sabi ko sa kanya, you know, I have been very grateful sa iyo. I was down and out at that time. Pinatayin personally ito. You were there to help me. And I will never forget that. So, kung mga bayaran, besides I've been helping you for the last six years, hindi na pay me si Jose Tabo. Why should you pay me now? Kaya sabi ni Lisa Marcos, sige, pag nanalo tayo, ang komisyon na ng COVID-19, share ba ng COVID-19. Well, of course, I thanked her. Of course, that's just a promise. So I I thank her anyway. Then I started. Kanya yung komelek, no? November, middle of November 2021, going to the 2022 elections. Then sometime on December 10, in December 10, specifically December 10, 2021, I tagal ko yung message ng Secretary Billy sa mga boss at sinabi niya, "Are you making a request? Can you make a request? Can you?" Lam, that's Lisa Araneta Marcos, na mag-attend ng meeting ng Smartmatic. Uh, mag-attend ng meeting ng Smartmatic sa alas 6 ng gabi ngayong araw sa 5600 South Superhighway, Corner Arellano Street. Uh, uh, since I received the text today, hindi na ko nakapunta. But I found out the next day na uh, itong 5600 South Superhighway is the office of Total Information Management Corporation. Ito yung partner ni Smartmatic sa uh, Smartmatic PIM Corporation. Ito yung joint venture ng Smartmatic and PIM for the elections. So, in other words, the other half of Smartmatic were already... Oh, take note ha, si First Lady uh, Lisa Marcos pa ang pumunta sa opisina ng uh, Smartmatic o ng, o ng partner company ng Smartmatic. meeting with the representatives of Lisa Marcos. And I was specifically requested to be there. Unfortunately, hindi ko natanggap on time, hindi ako nakapunta. I found out later the next day actually, doon sa unit namin, 
ang unit po namin doon sa headquarters ng Bongbong Marcos is known as Food Protection Unit or GPU. Ang office po namin ay nasa 6th floor kasi 7th floor si Bongbong Marcos. Eh. Si Bongbong Marcos nasa 7th floor, kami nasa 6th floor. Uh, ito yung office, uh, pagpasok, paglabas mo ng elevator, may isang room dyan. Tapos may isang conference room, is kami. Tapos may isang office na maliit, tapos office ni Lisa Marcos. So, so nasa kanila na si Lisa Marcos. Although the candidate and the, the top uh, copy locations are on the side of the It's a restricted area. So, that's when I found out that the uh, owners of Local Information Management Corporation, the partner of Smartmatic in the election system with them, were meeting with the representatives of Lisa Marcos. And take note, I was specifically requested to be there which is different in the second one. No, I know why, but I went to be last time. So, besides uh, being present there, doon sa PPU, dito sa EDSA, na headquarters, dito sa Madalu, yung tapat ng Pioneer, na uh, yan yung headquarters nila, yung campaign headquarters sa Visaya. So, I also went out around other provinces to campaign for uh, Marcos. And then, uh, at Tino Federal Board, may ando dito sa Tata Headquarters. So, nagsin ako po ng headquarters dito sa commercial building namin. Pinayaran ko po yung mga volunteers. Uh, utilities. Masesya na guys ha. Ma ma malayo. Nakita nyo naman. Malayo ang, ang camera sa kung saan na ron si, si Mr. Glenn Chong. Kaya medyo paputol-putol. Bago, I know what you did last summer. I know that this time. I know what you did last summer daw. Sometimes, Ang natandaan ko, that was after March 7, kasi nakaschedule kami na ilipat ko sa kabilang building sa Cyber Day Plaza. Ito yung, ito yung headquarters ni Bongo Marcos, ito yung Cyber Day, ito yung EDSA sa Pitan. So, nilipat kami dito sa 10th floor, the internet floor, kinuha yun, nilipat kami dito sa Code Protection Group. So, it was scheduled March 7, pero hindi natuloy yun. So, yun yung pumatak sa isipan ko, sometime after March 7. But before March 21. So these are very important dates. It was after March 7, but before March 21. Kasi March 21, yun yung nalipat na talaga kami doon sa Cyber Gate. Yung 7 was the scheduled transfer. Hindi na tuloy yun. 21, scheduled transfer na tuloy na yun. So the meeting was in between. Nakaschedule ako ng meeting kay Lisa Manos 1-1. Pagdating ko sa video that afternoon, nandun si Ivan Uy. Yung secretary na yun ng DICP, Department of Information and Communications Technology, at si Hubert Kibara, Senior Deputy Executive Secretary. Well, I, I, ang alam ko, ako lang ang kamitin ni Lisa that afternoon. So, manong mga meeting na schedule ko. So, lumapit na yun, lumabas yung secretary at sinabi, at rin yun, ikaw na. Itong dalawa, eh, tingin ko, makikimakitis ko, ano yung topic ko doon. Sumunod, so, sila pa na unang pumasok. Sila na unang pumasok. So, okay, no, there was a conference table here. Lisa Marcos was standing there. Kung po si Ivan doon sa dulo, harap siya. I graphically described it in my affidavit. So, dito si Lisa Marcos. And doon si Ivan, yung umupo siya doon sa dulo, harap si Lisa. May si Hubert dyan, umupo sa dita. Halos directly across. Si, 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 ako na schedule ng meeting, sila para unang naupuhin. So, because they already occupied the two, eh dito ako ako po sa gili, far from Lisa. Then, humarap si Lisa Marcos sa kanila at sinabi, guys, um, I have a meeting with the owners of Smartmatic. Um, I'll just go, the, guys, I have a meeting with the owners of Smartmatic. I need two technical guys to come with me. As bigla sa kumikot at humarap sa akin at dinuro pa ako, but not you. Because they hate you so much. <laughs> but not you, because they hate you so much. That was, uh, I was taken aback. Ang pumasok sa isipan ko, ibang usapan to. Kailangan mo ng dalawang technical guys to be with you with the owners of smart market. Ito yung dalawa. But I cannot be. Remember the first meeting with smart market PIM? Yung PIM po po na. I was specifically requested by Lisa Marcos to be there. But in this second meeting, she was emphatically excluding me, but not you, 
because they hate you so much. So, I don't know what I'm going to do. 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 So, from then on, we put them in the full protection unit on the cyber gate. I work there. And some of my colleagues are here to support. And probably, I know, wala kami ginawang masama. We, we, they invested millions of pesos, millions of pesos and thousands of man hours setting up that system to quickly count the votes for Bongo Marcos and Sarabutel to prevent cheating or identify areas of cheating in case it happens. But on the day of the election, it spectacularly failed as a conference. In Asia, Kumana, wala ang palala, halos wala ang palala ng resulta. Para 9 o'clock in the evening, they were already celebrating. I say that at 3 o'clock in the morning, the araw, the day after the election, I say there, but I already knew, pinenta ako kay Smartmatic. So, I didn't go back to Cybergate ever again. I didn't go back to the headquarters again. And I didn't contact Marcos or Visa. Visa or Bumbo. Hindi na po ako nag-test sa kanila except to congratulate them. Hindi na po gumunta sa kanila except that congratulation. And I never applied for any position. I will be very clear about this. Hindi ako nag-apply ng position sa Inestrosul Marcos dahil alam ko na pinenta ako kay Smart Market ng mag-asawa ko. Until June 5. Okay, yun. Alam ko, pinenta ako sa Smart Market ng dalawang ito referring to Bongbong Marcos and uh, the First Lady Lisa Marcos. So yun po, na hinar nila si Bo, si si uh, hinar nila si Glenn Chong because supposedly uh, uh kwan siya expert on uh, electoral cheating at inexpose niya yung di umano alleged cheating ni BP Lenny daw last election. And then, uh, kaya uh, he was working with uh, the Marcoses on that. Kaya kinuha rin siya during the campaign of Marcos for president dahil lalabanan nila ang Smartmatic. Pipigilan nila yung, yung cheating ng Smartmatic. And then, with his help, na-set up ang multi-million quick count facility. Nag-set up, ng, naglagay ng mga techie guys. Nagrenta ng building para ng floors, many floors ng building para lang ilagay yan na uh, quick count uh, facility na yan. Pero nung nag-usap na after nag-usap sila ng ng uh, ng uh, Smartmatic <laughs> at presumably sinabihan na sila, panalo na kayo, kami ang bahala. <laughs> Di umano. <laughs> if we if we infer sa sinabi ni Glenn Chong, yun pinabayaan na yung, yung quick count ng Marcos campaign team hindi siya gumana or may na nabutahe hindi na hindi na kinontak yung mga provincial people nila na nagbabantay sana sa mga boto by 9 o'clock nagse-celebrate ng lahat panalo na alam na nila panalo na sila kasi pumasok na in the first hour after the closing of the of the precincts na may pumasok na na 20 million yung very suspicious 20 million na isang IP address lang ang ginamit. So baka yun ang magic doon na 20 million. <laughs> so yan, yan coming from Glen Chong mismo. Pasensya na kayo, medyo kwan lang yung sound pero I hope uh, you got it right. So yun, na uh, this is the latest on this issue. We will follow we will be following up on this issue in the coming days. Pero yun, klarong-klaro na na binenta si Glenn Chong at ano pa kaya ang binenta nila kapakanan ng taong bayan <laughs> integridad ng eleksyon ano pa kaya binenta nila o anong, anong binili ng mga Marcoses kayo na sumagot yan basta si Glenn Chong alam binenta siya pagkatapos pinaglaruan yung posisyon ng Comelec na prinami sa kanya parang binibigay lang dito 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 parang kanila yung Comelec ano kaya meron sila ga, bakit kaya ga, ganun ka close sila sa Comelec na pagkatapos supposedly independent body no and then uh, 
Uh, dito may nag-set up ng smart uh, matic ay nag-set up ng quick count pero hindi na ginamit dahil alam na nila after meeting with uh, smart matic na panalo na sila so too much of a coincidence po di ba kayo na bala itagpi tagpi lahat ito so yun ang latest natin dito, dito sa issue na ito and please share to friends and relatives who are following up on uh, the the uh, massive fraud in the 2022 election So they will, they know. So they will know what really happened then, and for us to prevent another cheating in the 2025 and 2028 elections. So thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to share, to subscribe to the Blogcaster Armandin YouTube channel, and see you in my next blog.